oh let's move on to Messi actually Messi's finally kind of sorted out his future which I guess is a good thing if you're a Barcelona fan um, for everybody else in football the football is a bit divided it feels like I think one side of the argument are like oh he should be let uh, he should be allowed to leave and for free he's given Barcelona everything look at what he's contributed blah 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 and the other side of the argument which I am on is like hey you signed a contract, you knew exactly what the terms were, right? I'm assuming his camp were already looking at the contract and thinking to move because this didn't come out of anywhere, out of, out of the blue, sorry. And to work in that kind of a clause in your contract that allows you to leave for free at the end of the season, must have um, there must have already been an inkling that he wasn't going to stay at Barcelona forever, which is a, which kind of goes against what everyone thought or what, what he basically told everybody in the first place. So, so my position is that he knew what the contract length was. He knew what the clause was. And if he wanted to leave, regardless, because I think his kind of sticking point is that, oh, I said I wanted to leave. Um, no, the, um, the who's that guy? Um, whatever, the, the higher-ups at Barcelona basically agreed that if um, at the end of the season, which is basically June, I think it's the in the contract, he'd be allowed to leave. But I guess because of Corona, like the message team are arguing that the actual season's just ended recently, right? So it's not the end of June. So but that, that still counts as the end of the season. But of course, if it's a contract and it says June, then it's June. Or if it says July, it's July. There's no, you know, you can't really, um, you can't really spin that one. So I guess regrettably, he decided to say, hey, I'm going to stay then for the year and then I'm going to leave next year on June. But of course, anything can change your football between now and then. You know, Ronald Koeman could just hit the ground running and get Barcelona challenge finishing La Liga and challenging in Champions League and it'd be very difficult for him to leave. He obviously wants to leave to challenge for stuff and win trophies, but I still think he could have gone about this a much, much better way, in my opinion. But anyway, this is an article from Goal, who I don't know how, right? They're a bit of a useless site when it comes to transfer news and gossip and stuff. So I don't know how they managed to get his interview, but props to them. I suppose Supposedly, word on the net is that they just rocked up to his house and just asked for the interview when everything was going on. They were kind of the first people to get there on scene, so maybe that was the case, but um, a very well done interview from them regardless. So it says here, Messi's Barcelona um, heartbreak revealed from his son's tears to refusing to go on trial. Um, he says the following, Lala Messi has revealed that his heartbroken decision uh, to leave Barcelona and why he ultimately chose to stay with the club in a world exclusive. The 33 year old who spent 20 years at Cantalan dropped the bombshell on news um, on Barcelona late August that he intended to leave on a free transfer. However, Barcelona refused to agree or recognize to breaking his contract as they claimed the moment for using it had passed in June and so a stalemate began in the Argentinian and Chachno tried to find a way out. Um, however, Messi was accepted. He must stay at Camp Nou to avoid um, dragging his beloved club to court, but only after experiencing desperately sad couple of weeks. He says, when I communicated my wish to leave to my wife and children, it was a brutal d drama, Messi told Goal. The whole family began crying. <laughs> my children did not want to leave, nor did they want to change school, which says a lot really, isn't it? Because this is something I've kind of thought about, I think, with a lot of these players on the continent especially South American players, players from the Mediterranean, they're very family orientated, right? So I think a lot of the UK teams, especially teams in the Premier League, they really miss a trick by not... I think if you're going to get a Brazilian player in your team and you're Burnley, you just have to get somebody else beforehand, right? Whether it's a kid in the reserves or somebody that works behind the scenes, right? But you need somebody to kind of welcome them. Because I still remember that story of like Hernan Crespo turning up to like, no, is it Herman Crespo? Herman Crespo, I think it might have been for Chelsea. He wasn't given a liaison to how to move in London, right? This is like an, you know, a world-renowned striker, right? Um, obviously, on the decline a little bit, but still somebody well regarded. And they, they, I think they just assumed that he knew his way around London. He was just essentially left alone in his home the first night after staying, signing for Chelsea. Um, sort of isolated. And that's not the best way to get the best out of these sort of Mediterranean players. You have to kind of build build the teams kind of around them or with them in mind um so it does take a lot for the player himself to say like you know i want to change because usually it's the other way around usually it's the family the wife the children or extended family that are complaining and say that they want to change the scenery usually it's that way around but for him to decide hey i want to move my family to bloody england especially because that was a rumor you're going to man city that would have been a bit of a culture shock he continues, says, but I looked further afield and I want to compete at the highest level, win titles, compete in Champions League. You can win or lose in it because it's very difficult, but you have to compete. And again, yeah, they haven't been competing lately. He mentions here, at which um, at least uh, compete for it and let's not fall apart like we did in Rome, Liverpool and Lisbon. All that, all that led me to think about the decision that I wanted to carry out. 
He says, however, that ambition to accept a new challenge was thwarted by Barcelona president Jose Maria Bartomeu, who's bloody enemy number one at the moment. But I also understand why he didn't want to allow Messi to leave under any circumstance, right? He's up for re-election. But regardless of that, even if he doesn't get re-elected, you don't want your legacy to be you were the guy that let Messi leave this club especially under this sort of like malaise that they're in at the moment they've got a few really young talented players at the moment right obviously Ansu Fati is the one that sticks out to everybody but they've got a few more in the kind of ranks that they might be able to promote but the last thing that you want but you know for sure right the team isn't ready to win you know big honors at the moment yet especially if they have aren't able to sign players to the extent that they probably did in the past they probably don't have the budget for at the moment so but still that being said if you're you know if you're a, a Bartomeu, you don't want to let him go. You don't because you know the club will potentially implode, um, especially when you consider the tickets. I mean, the ticket sales, even for, to watch the games, are maybe heavily influenced by Messi. The shirt sales, for sure. Um, there's a lot of branding that goes, you know, with his name as well. So to let him all that walk out the door is just something that I don't I don't really have any uh, grab to bear with him, man. I would have done the same thing. There's no way you can let Messi leave for free, especially for free. Um, he says... Um, continues says i fought and was sure that i was free to leave the president always said that at the end of the season i could decide if i stayed or not um and this is a good point because i think every other legend iniesta xavi even david villa was allowed essentially to leave for free um i think david villa i'm not too sure but especially iniesta and xavi so if you're messy and you have that kind of legend status at the club you'd expect them to allow you to kind of go if you wanted to go without kind of taking your club to court but then this part of me is thinking why wouldn't you want your old team to get money too right why wouldn't you want man city to cough up 700 m's i guess they can't because they gotta pretend they're abiding by financial fair play but why wouldn't you want your club to get like a little bit of money for all the money they invested in you i don't know maybe that's something to think about another time he says um now they cling on to the fact that i did not say it before june 10th which when it turns out that on june 10th we were competing for the league in the middle of this awful coronavirus and this disease altered our season um, and this is the reason why I'm going to continue with the club. Now I'm going to continue with the club because the president told me that the only way to leave is if it was to pay 700 million claws, and that is impossible. Imagine being worth 700 mil. But it's also an indication of just how much better he's than everybody else, isn't it? That he's like rated at that much. And no one's batting an eyelid at the moment. No one's sort of questioning his valuation. They're just questioning whether or not the club would be able to pay it. But no one's like, oh, he, that's ridiculous money. Because even at 33, right, with like maybe, you know, he hasn't got the turn of pace he once had, but still, um, it seems like an actual good idea, especially when you count the amount of money he generates year on year, I mean, just being himself. He continues, it says here, there was only one way out if Messi was to leave, taking Barcelona to court. But that six-time um, Ballon d'Or winner refuses to take that route and so will remain at the club for another 10 months. There was another way to, and it was going to go trial, he said. I would never go to court against Barca because it's a club that I love, which gave me everything which I, when I arrived, since I arrived. It is a club of my life and I had my, my life here. <laughs> well, you know, you definitely went to leave. It's not a club of your life, Damien, is it, mate? Barca gave me everything and I gave them everything. I know it that it never crossed my mind to take Barca to the court, which is nice of him. I think that was the one thing that I was kind of relieved about. I think the way he went about it was really poor, you know, not turning up to training and all this sort of stuff. I think that's really poor, especially when you're not sure if the stipulation in your contract is is kind of right or not. I think he would have, he should have, he would have been a, uh, better to see him kind of, you know, just turn up to training go about his business and then deal with this behind the scenes that would have been a better way to do it but again you know he's probably frustrated with the entire organization how badly it's been managed you know maybe people some people would argue they're kind of you know residing over the worst Barcelona squad in living memory I think or you know especially if you're according to Twitter I would assume a lot of those guys haven't seen Barcelona before that um social media era but this is the worst one worst one for you know by a country mile so you know i understand both parties in this respect it opens up he said mateo um messi opened up the goal to goal sorry on a heartbreaking conversation he had with his son tiago who didn't want to leave while praising his wife antonella for standing by his side through all the backlash for his desire to leave barcelona well of course she's gonna do that what else is she gonna do uh, mateo is still little so he doesn't realize what it means to go somewhere else and make your life uh, for a few years elsewhere tiago is older um, he's heard, he's heard something on TV and found out something in Arcs. I didn't want him to know anything about being forced to leave, to have to live in a new school, make new friends. He cried with, to me and said, let's not go and repeat that it was hard, really. 
Ugh, yeah, that must be a difficult one, isn't it? It's, again, especially when you're a Mediterranean player and you're very family orientated and you essentially do everything for your familia, to have them crying and sobbing at your feet, telling you, please, let's not go to bloody rainy Manchester. Because if ever there was a culture, if ever there was a complete opposite of climate and people and stuff like that, it definitely will be playing for, again, you're not playing for a Man United, you're not playing for a Bayern Munich, you're playing for like City, do you know what I mean? It was, it's not got the same allure that um, uh, Barcelona would have, so it would be an interesting place for him to go, but it, it would be fun just to see the Man City Stadium fall though, to be completely honest, um, and that's not even a dig, it would be quite cool to see it packed to the rafters every week with Messi playing, that would be absolutely gnarly. Um, it continues here, it says, I love Barcelona, I'm not going to find a better place than here anyway. Oh yeah, but you went to go somewhere else. I still have the right to the side. And true, I was going to look for new goals and new challenges. And tomorrow I could go back because here in Barcelona, I have everything. My son, my family, they grew up here and they are from here. There was nothing wrong with wanting to leave. I needed it. The club needed it and it was good for everyone, which is that's a point I ultimately agree with. I think it would have been great for them to let him go and kind of... Um, you know reset the club in a way um there's too stagnant relying too much on you know messy sort of changing the game they haven't necessarily built a cohesive team that just filled in in with good players who can pass the ball to messi so they probably needed a, a bit of a shift a bit of a moving on process but you know they're tied to the hip unfortunately it says here yeah, my my wife with all pain of her soul supporting accompanied me again which is you know it's that's like saying that's like Rooney Frank and his wife for not leaving him after all those scandals he's had it's just it is what it is and it? these women have committed themselves to this lifestyle and they're gonna hang in there for the ride and be alright or die in that respect it says here yeah, Messi would now prepare to start the season under new Barcelona coach Ronald Koeman as a club bounce back from a dire 2019-20 season in which they failed to win the Liga and Champions League or reach the final of the Copa del Rey bloody hell clean sweep of L's there innit but let me know man what do you think do you think um the interview was a good one do you think it'd be hard for him to walk back into the change room after initially, after basically telling his club that, you know, they're not matching his ambitions and he thinks he's better than them? I wonder what happens there. But I guess because he's the best player, no one's going to chat shit to Messi in it. But I'd be interested to know what happens. But let me know about your thoughts about it in the comments down below.